Grand Rising. Today, I want to talk about the telephone manifesting technique. The telephone manifesting technique. If you do enjoy self love and spiritual development videos, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to upload videos every Thursday. Imagination creates all reality. Your imagination is creating everything in your human experience. You are a spiritual being and you're having a human experience. So in order for you to change your human experience, you must use your imagination. Everything comes from your imagination. There's nothing external outside of you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to manifest a specific desire. The first thing that you want to do is get a piece of paper and write down exactly what it is that you want. You can pause the video, think about it, and then come back to it. But I want you to write down exactly what it is that you want. I don't care if you grew up in a poor neighborhood and you've never had this. I don't care about your skin color. None of those things matter. I don't care about where you're from, your age. None of those things matter and they never will. So I want you to write down exactly what you want. And then I want you to go to a comfortable spot. This could be your bedroom, your laundry room, outside of your car. It could be on top of your roof of your house. It could be in your living room, a comfortable chair sitting straight up. It doesn't matter as long as it's quiet and it's peaceful. So now I want you to take a few deep breaths and begin to relax your body and your mind. We're about to enter the theta state of mind. So almost to the state where you're about to go to sleep. You can do this in the evenings before bed, or you can do this in the daytime. It doesn't matter as long as you have a quiet spot. The next step is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to visualize your best friend calling you and telling you congratulations. So in, when you close your eyes, I want you to use your imaginary hand and grab your imaginary phone and say hello. And then you're going to hear your friend saying congratulations on your brand new car. Congratulations. And you can smile back and say, thank you. I'm so happy that I got this new car. Hear them again. Congratulations. Congratulations on your new car. I'm so happy for you. And then you say back in your imagination, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy that I got this new car. And I want you to do this. You can do this with anything, health, money, a job, a promotion, healing, traveling, a house, a car. It doesn't matter. Do not limit yourself. Everything comes from your imagination but it's up to you to access this power. So I'm showing you exactly how to use this power. You can do this three nights in a row to plant the seed. And then on the fourth day, you'll start to notice that it almost becomes a memory like it actually happened. Well, the thing is, your subconscious mind does not know whether it happened or whether it didn't happen. But the thing is, you must change your feelings in your imagination. And then once you feel good in your imagination, then that's going to impress your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind will not be impressed until you change your feelings of yourself. So your concept of yourself has to change. So if you're in a bad mood, your subconscious mind is going to give you more of that because it thinks you want to be in a bad mood. If you're in a great mood, and this is what the, this telephone method does. It's allow, it allows you to hear your friend's voice in a happy and great mood, great attitude. And they're congratulating you. So this should put you in a great mood. If, you just, if you've been struggling and you need a car, your car is breaking down, maybe you're homeless, you need a house, and you hear your best friend telling you this, this should alter your state of mind. You should get goosebumps. You should get an adrenaline rush. Once this happens, you've done it correctly. 
Your subconscious mind is impressed and there's nothing else you have to do. But if you're not so good at imagining, maybe you're not good at visualization, that's fine. Do it again for two, the second night and then do it again for the third night. And then on the third night, you realize that you're actually getting better at this. It's just like going to the gym. If you go to the gym once, okay, you might not have the best workout. You don't know what machines to use, what weights to use, what muscle groups you're working out. You don't know what food you should be eating, how much you should be hydrating. But I guarantee you, if you keep going, if you keep practicing, and if you keep asking for people for advice, if you keep talking to trainers, maybe people who've done this before, they have the physique that you want. Maybe you go on YouTube, watch videos and increase your knowledge. And six months from now, you're going to know exactly what to do. So same with this imagination. When, you, when you're using this telephone technique, you may not be the best at it. But it's all, it's all about your intentions. Once your mood has changed then you've done it correctly. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Make it very short. Hear your friend say congratulations. And then you say back, thank you. I never felt better. Thank you. Um, I love this amazing car. Thank you. I feel perfectly healthy. Something like that. And you just do this for three nights in a row. And then you go to sleep. Now, throughout the day, you can create an affirmation that implies that you got the car. I am so grateful for my car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for my car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you can just say this affirmation and then visualize your imaginary scene from the night before. before. So as you're saying your affirmation, you're actually feeling it to be true because your subconscious mind is going to bring up that, quote, memory of you planting the seed a couple of days ago. Are you with me? So don't worry about it if it doesn't feel real. Don't worry about it if it seems silly or blasphemous. What's the worst that can happen? You're visualizing yourself having something that, that you've never had before. That's how all things come into your experience, into being. All things come into existence through you. It's nothing external. It, it's coming through you. So... To close out this video, pick a specific desire, pick a peaceful area where nobody's going to bother you for 30 seconds to a minute, and then hear your friend congratulating you on your specific desire. Do this for three nights in a row, and then come back and let me know how quick you got your desire. Now, this works fast. I'm warning you now, this works fast, so make sure that what you want, it is exactly what you want. Make sure you have positive intentions. You don't want to attract a million dollars and you're an alcoholic. It's going to lead you to drink more alcohol and perhaps end in in a worse position than you are now. Are you with me? Make sure that you have positive intentions because just like electricity... This power can light up the whole city or one touch and it can harm you. Make sure you choose wisely, but the choice is always yours. Where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Make sure to stay towards the end of this video. I do have two amazing recommended videos for you to watch. Life is good. If you did like this video and it resonates with you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.